What's going down, y'all? Welcome to another video. I just got done watching the Cavs beat the Pistons. It was a rough game. It wasn't like the Warriors or the Rockets or nothing. It wasn't no blowout, but we should sweep them. But anyways, today's video is a video featuring all the products that I use. Well, most of the products that I use. And I feel like this is a good video for beginners because a lot of the products that I do use, I've been using since I began cutting. Since I began cutting hair, y'all know what I mean. I'm gonna show you what I use before a haircut, during a haircut, and after a haircut. And another thing, I know you guys are gonna look at these products and be like, oh, they're cheap, there's way more exclusive name brand products out there for me to use, which is true, there's way more products out there better than the ones I use, but the ones that I use, I'm good at using with. My client comes back, they look good, they smell good, and they tip, so I'm doing something right, so trust me, the products that I use, I use well. Pastor used to tell me count my blessings What I'm supposed to do when bills collecting My credit's high, your own door Nothing I can do when I only get a hundred for sure Trying to make my life for a son Suicide was on my mind, I almost did it twice They don't really care about my life, how I really feel They just want to see a young man struggle Came outside my bubble, everybody going pop Had to leave my deal, everybody got robbed Made a whole album, and even see a penny Took all of my dough before the second one dropped Pointing at my face, saying I'm the bad guy Promise I ain't never meant to make the fans cry Promise that I never want to see my grand die Sorry if everything that I told you was a lie I moved from the vague, then I lived in the shop Stayed on my own in the middle of the south They ain't God and my bros let me sleep on the couch Alright, so what you guys just seen is the whole desk right here of my products that I use, real basic inventory. Like I said, it doesn't really matter what you use as long as it gets the job done and you provide quality service. Alright, to clean everything barber related that I use, I use Ship Shape. Fill that up in a mixture of hot water in a sink and I throw my brushes, my combs, my scissors, everything in there before I put it in the barber side. Which leads to my next point, uh, barber side, real important. Real potent uh, cleaning solution. You just soak your combs, your brushes, your picks, everything in there. And when you need it, you pull the top up, grab what you need, dry it off, and then use it. It's completely sanitary. And next is regular old wintergreen alcohol. I buy it at like 50 cents a bottle at Walmart. It's real basic, but real effective. This could qualify as after or before. I use it for both after and before. Uh, for before, I just spray it on the uh, client's hair, comb that in, blow dry it before I get started. It gives me a clean canvas, knocks on any dirt or grease. And and of course, after a haircut, I don't care how bad it burns. You have to use alcohol or witch hazel or some kind of cleaning solution. I'd rather spend 50 cents on a whole bottle of alcohol than have someone come back with a bump trying to blame me for my dirty clippers, which your clippers should never be dirty. All right, so the combs that I use, just a regular old comb. Get the, I get that at Sally's for like a buck fifty. It's real solid, real heavy comb. That's why I like it. And next is a fading comb, or some people call it a flat top comb. I basically use it for clipper over comb uses. You guys will see a clipper over comb tutorial. Well, not basically a tutorial, but you guys will see me use clipper over comb in one of my tutorials. Next is a just a hair pick. A regular old hair pick with one of the things missing. It doesn't make a difference that it's missing. It works. What I use to clean my clippers or brush them off is a regular old toothbrush. I basically just brush my clippers off just like that and it works. Just like brushing your teeth. I also use this brush for my comb overs or undercuts or anything like that. Uh, there's holes in the back of the brush. I think that's for the airflow to get through the brush and make more volume in the hair. I basically use it, like I said, to get more volume on undercuts and comb overs. And the shears that I use, just regular old gold shears. The story behind these, they're not expensive at all. I could spend like $300 on some expensive ass Japanese shears, which I will eventually, of course I will, but I bought those for like 25 bucks maybe and I was like if I go get them sharpened will it be the same as like a $200 scissor or anything like that and they hit I got them sharpened at the same place I get my clipper sharpened well worth the investment like I said it doesn't really matter what you use as long as it works for you guys they're not the sharpest but they are pretty sharp all right and next is a barber cape clip I can't express how important this is a lot of you guys out there, if you guys lose this, you know what I'm talking about, how annoying it is. Keeps the, uh, the barber cape flush around the neck, because uh, the holes in the barber cape, the buttons, it's not every neck is going to fit it properly, so that's what that's for. And this is a regular neck duster. I've been using this type of one. This is not the same one I've been using for years. I've, I've got new ones, but eventually I will get a new neck duster, but that one gets the job done, so I work with it. This is probably the most asked about thing on this channel. It's a regular from Razor F R O M M with the Persona blades on there. Comes in like a five pack. They trying to give you an extra one nowadays. I'll hey, I take it. It's like a six dollar razor. 
This is what I had when I had no lineup clippers when I first started. It's just my baby. I still use it. I recommend this razor. All right, so we're gonna get to the clippers now. Uh, I don't know, wall detailer. Y'all know how I feel about that. All around detailer trimmer. Next trimmer is an Anis T outliner with the T wide blade, deep tooth blades. I recommend the deep tooth blades be hidden. Even before I got these sharpened at the sharp shop here in Vegas, they were hidden out of the box. Next is the Andes Master. Y'all might y'all might be surprised. I don't really like the Andes Masters. It's just not the blade fluency, if that makes sense, how smooth the, the blade moves. It's not as smooth as the, the fast feed or like the wall seniors. I've seen like the blade movement on those. It just seems better than the Andes Masters. Don't get me wrong, Andes Masters do hit when they are running right, so I would suggest getting those. But not to start out. Those are, if you got extra money, you want to buy some Andes Masters, go ahead. Next, y'all know what this is, my favorite clipper. Heavy hitter right here. Uh, y'all can see these are beat up as fuck, but I've had these wood grain ones. These are wood grain, like 50 bucks off Amazon. I've had these for two years. They still run brand new. I just love fast feeds, bro. Just go get you a pair of fast feeds. I have another pair right here. These are the ones I did an unboxing on. If you didn't see that in the Zero Gap video, go see that. Next is the Oscar 76ers. I don't really use this clipper that much as as much as y'all would think I would. It's a real powerful clipper. It's the most powerful clipper that I do have. I would suggest it if you guys do want a detachable blade clipper. Uh, they don't get hot that fast, but they do get hot eventually, but they're real powerful. Uh, this is the 1A blade on here. I also have a 0A, a 2, a triple zero, a one, and a one and a half. I don't really need to go higher than that because I, like I said, I don't use this clipper that much. All right, so the electric shaver that I use is the Wall Five Star Shaver. Real dope electric shaver. The only knock I can say on these after I've been using these for like four months now is the battery life on the shaver is bad. It dies so fast. So if you guys have any suggestions on electric shavers that I should use, like the Andes Pro Foil, I don't know what the battery life is on that, but that's that's probably what I'll buy next and do a review on that, because the battery life on the five-star shaver is just not cutting it. And the guards that I have for my uh, masters, my fast feeds, are the purple magnetic guards. Uh, I had to go to far lengths to find the double magnet ones. I was using the single magnet ones, but those just ass, they just feel cheap. But I do own a zero guard, a one guard, a two guard, a three guard, and a four guard. Any other guard higher than a four, you might as well use your shears. But I do have like a five and a six that I do have to use sometimes, but I'd rather just use shears. Next is a curl sponge. I got this for like $5 on Amazon. Real dope curl sponge. It's real cheap, but it works really good as if it was like $20 or $30. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how to use a curl sponge, uh, that probably is coming soon. I use a curl sponge on a daily basis. It's a real popular haircut. All the hoopers, the hoopers out there have a curl sponge haircut. The singers and rappers so the next is regular old spritz uh, i wouldn't suggest using spritz for every lineup i don't i don't even like using spritz on lineups but it's it's a must sometimes when the client has long hangover hairs and you have to spray spritz to hold it down before you line it up if that makes sense i also use this as hairspray sometimes uh, you guys might have noticed that i don't use hairspray or any hair wax or anything like that because most of the time my clients come they get a haircut and they go right home and take a shower so what's the point of me putting hair wax and hairspray and all this other gel on somebody's hair if they're gonna go home and wash it out. You could be thinking, oh, what if they have an interview or they're going out after a haircut? Uh, true, true. But majority, like 99% of my clients be like, uh, don't put any gel on my hair, I'm just gonna go home and take a shower anyway. So that's why I don't use any hair wax or any gel. Next is probably my secret weapon after a haircut. Basically it's hair lotion, it's moisturizer for the hair. Uh, if someone has a comb over, like I said, I don't put wax, so I just put this in it and it just like moisturizes the hair, it hydrates the hair, that, that's a good word. Hydrates the hair, makes the hair look more lively. Uh, it's good to put it in curls. If you have curls and you want natural, like wet looking curls, but not too wet, I would use that. Uh, don't mix it with water. If you have curls, just put it in your hair without water and it'll, it'll make it look better and more healthier. It's like two, 275 at Sally's and Walmart. I just love that product. I don't know what else I can say about it. It's multi-useful and it works. You guys might have seen this in my tutorials. After I cut somebody's hair, it's basically oil sheen. It makes the hair shine, it makes it smell good. I might switch up my oil sheens month to month. I might buy like pink, uh, motions, or any other oil sheen out there. I, but I, this is my favorite, I would suggest this one. And next is the all important Cool Care. It's a coolant, disinfectant, lubricant, cleaner, rust preventative. Basically, Clean your shit with some cool care before you cut somebody's hair. Use the toothbrush that I was talking about. Brush your clippers off. 
and spray some cool care on it. And this is some regular old hand sanitizer. I should have put this in the front of the video because this is most, this is probably the first step that I use. As y'all see, it's gone basically. Self-explanatory, you you're a barber that uses your hands, you touch somebody's face, put some hand sanitizer, clean your hands, wash your hands on a regular basis. I don't know what else I can say about that. And last but not least, this is post-shave balm for sensitive skin. It's basically like a soothing lotion for after a haircut. It smells like cologne, it moisturizes the skin. And a lot of my clients are gonna be like, motherfucker, you don't use that on me. Uh, I don't, I don't use it a lot. I mean, I use it sometimes if I remember, if I have time, then I'll use it. But most of the time it just sits on the shelf that I have. But it is a good quality product. And ladies out there, my girlfriend uses it as a toner and a moisturizer before she puts her makeup on, before she puts her foundation on. I don't know the terms, but if that helps anything for you guys out there, any ladies out there, you're welcome. But that's it for this video. Like I said, I have real basic products, but it works. I still give quality service no matter what product that I use. Invest in your skill and buy the products that you want that fit your needs, if that makes sense. I know I'm rambling. My voice is starting to hurt, my throat is dry, so I'm gonna see you guys. I think a new vlog is coming up soon. I think I'm vlogging, I think I'm vlogging tonight and tomorrow, so expect a vlog in a few days. But other than that, I'm gonna see you guys later. Peace. I was stuck in my past, been making my way out. Trying to better my craft, waiting to pay out. I've been getting harassed, who let my number get out? It's funny I never got paid. Now I get somebody.